One of the most well-hidden pieces of grass in any Pokemon game is the grass on Route 115. When I started this hunt, a lot of people told me they didn't even know about it. And it's a pretty cool place to hunt. It's the only place in Hoenn where you can find wild Jigglypuff and wild Swellow. So, I decided I'd hunt here until I get either one of those. In first phase, I got a Tailo. But before I get to that, here's a pretty interesting thing that happened to me. I got to witness some berries growing live. Check it out. Maybe I gotta add more roll rewards soon. Whoa! Did y'all see those? Did y'all see the flowers? They were literally transforming there. They were like sparkling. I think they're about to be berries whenever we run here. That was crazy. I don't think I've ever watched berries grow in real time in Ruby and Sapphire before. Look at that. They became a uh, berry bush now. That was wild looking. But anyway, here's the shiny tailo that I found on stream. Hope you enjoy. I also just enjoyed, like, band. Being in band was fun. Taking culinary arts, that's cool, too. Alright, that's enough Orberg for right now. I haven't listened to this song in a while. Wait, that's Dual Monsters. All right, I think this is it. I think this is the right opening. Let me know if it's if it is Y Y Y T Y Y T. Some combinations of Y's and T's. I played clarinet. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh Season Zero as like a bootleg on YouTube back in like 2012. Wait, which battle, Corva King? Oh, the battle for the layout. I'll be starting that pretty soon. I'd say within like 10 minutes. In about 10 minutes, I'll start the voting. Any other wind instruments I'd like to play? Well, I, I did start to learn the saxophones, so the whole saxophone series. I've always wanted to play the soprano sax. Like, you know, like the thing Kenny G plays. And that's a shiny Taylo. Like, you know, like the thing Kenny G plays. And that's a shiny Taylo. That's also something that Kenny G plays. It's, it's canonical now. Kenny G plays the shiny Taylo. I thought that looked a little bit different, but I wasn't entirely sure. After 19,182 encounters, finally, we have found something on this phase. And look how many friends we have on the layout. We even have Mr. Crime down at the bottom. What an abomination. Um, but let's catch this thing. I was hunting for Swellow or Jigglypuff here, but I'll take a little Swellow, just a little tiny one. We got Pencil the Smeargle out. I'm gonna throw a Nest Ball, because it kind of matches the colors of this thing. And don't worry, I'm filming this with my camera too, so all the stuff that's on the layout won't be in the final video. I mean, it'll make an appearance in the final video, but it won't be overwhelming the, the final video for this. But we caught it. The tiny bird Pokemon. It feeds on Wurmple that live in forests. Thing's a little carnivore. I'm gonna name this thing, uh... Lil Swellow. With no W. Lots of nature guesses in the chat right now. Fire Tuck saying it's definitely suspicious nature. Let's see how sus this thing is. It's lax. That's not a very common nature you see guessed. I feel like people forget it's a nature sometimes. I definitely do. I don't see a single person guessing lax here. All right, there's a Wingle, which also appears on the route I was hunting on. Shiny little Swellow. Let's go. All right, let's see how it looks on the GameCube. Uh, what honor? Why is it so pink? Especially around the beak. It's like it got into like a bottle of Pepto-Bismol and drank all of it. This is the Pepto-Bird. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.